So with collecting, everybody's got to have at least a favorite collectible or one of the most rarest. What for your guys' collection is one your most favorite collectible that you have? <coughs> Which one is your most rarest? Um, for me, my favorite uh, character in Star Wars is Darth Vader. So. I had to have the original uh, 1978 uh, 12 back Darth Vader. If you don't understand uh, the terms 12 back, 20 back, uh, 41 back. Um, when the original Star Wars figures came out, um, the first wave was 12 action figures. And on the back showed what was available at the time was 12 action figures. And then the second wave was 20 action figures. And that was still a Star Wars card. And then when the Bubba Fett came out after the, the special, uh, not the holiday special, he was the last 21st Star Wars figure. And then after that, Empire Strikes Back came out. And then that wave was 10, but they added to the original 21 Star Wars figures. So the first wave of Empire Strikes Back was 31 figures on the back. So when I say uh, the turn 12 back, 20 back, 31 back, that means that was how many figures were available. And on the back, they would show all the available figures at the time. So I had to have every single Vader. I had to have the 12 back, the 20 back Vader, the Empire Strikes Back 31 back, um, the last uh, wave of Empire Strikes Back was 48 figures. I had to have the 48 Vader back. Um, and then when Return of Jedi came out, it was 60 figures. So, and then um, the last line of Return of Jedi was 77 figures. And then that's when things were starting to, to weigh down. So then they came out with the power of the Force figures, more, you know, adding the coin, like I said earlier. And I was, uh, I think, 92 back. <laughs> so by the time in 1985, um, if you include some of the um, variants, they have about 100 <coughs> figures in all in, in the vintage line. Um, so I had to have the Star Wars Vader on card, the Empire Vader on card, the, um, the um, <coughs> Jedi Vader on card, and also. Um, at the end there, uh, KKD stores, um, they were slapping two figures together on a just a general Return of Jedi card. And um, most of the figures they were putting on, do you have the picture of the loot invader? You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, so it was a generic Return of Jedi card, had no pictures of the characters like traditionally each card had, and they were just throwing in random figures that didn't even have the name on the cards. And most of the figures on those cards were from, they were the leftover figures from Return of the Jedi, you know, like Ewok, uh, um, one of the Job of the Hutt's henchmen, like Reese, you know, real average figures. But um, I found a gem, and I found it on eBay. It had the original 12-back Vader with the original 12-back Skywalker. And, and um, that, from what I'm understanding, is probably going around $1,000. Now, the packaging wasn't, it's, it's bent. The, the, the bubble, you know, the plastic is all smashed. Because actually, uh, they would smash those in the boxes. So even when you bought them, the, um, they were already smashed and creased. Even though as bad shape that dual card is, because um, it's so rare to have the original Star Wars cards on the Return, the generic Return of Jedi card, especially the two most sought after figures is Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker. Um, I think that was one of my crown, actually I have a few crown pieces in, in my vintage collection, but the, the dual um, Vader with Luke on the Return of Jedi card, um, I got really lucky in finding that. And so, um, yeah, I, I like, and, and I like 
the loop too, because you know he had so many outfits, and um, you know Star Wars. First it was his fanboy outfit, and then uh, his X-wing outfit, and then when Empire came out, the best pin outfit, and then the snow outfit, and so forth, and Return of Jedi. So I, I had to get all the Luke's variants. Um, so pretty much Vader and um, collecting Luke Skywalker, the vintage cards were my favorite to get. And of course, you know, I got to throw in the Stormtrooper, and uh, I pretty much love them all. <laughs> but, but those were my, uh, my particulars in the vintage class. David, how about you with your, uh, your most favorite and most rare card? Well, when it comes to trading cards, uh, one of the things that spurred the collecting bug for a lot of people with trading cards is a very special card that maybe one in a box. And that is called a sketch card where the artist not only uh, gives images for uh, you know, the cards to print, but they actually draw on a card that they're given by Topps, um, a piece of art, basically. And then they give that back to Topps, and then they put it back in the packages. I have a few uh, sketch cards, but I actually bought my favorite, and I actually have it with me here today. Um, at Comic-Con, there's an artist named Joe Cornet. Um, he had this 501st sketch card, and he drew a picture of Darth Vader. It's one of the best I've ever seen. Um, the lines are like so straight and crisp, it's like unbelievable. Uh, when you buy one of these cards, uh, you're buying a piece of art. I paid $100 for this particular one. Uh, just because it's Darth Vader from a well-known artist and, uh, and the special touch for me is with the 501st Legion, which I'm a member of and I have been for the past 10 years. Um, so when you buy one of these cards and, you, and artists uh, sell the sketch cards, uh, you, can, you can go to them and you can see what they have because that, they're still making those. Um, but uh, this one is what Joe made specifically for the 501st Legion and I saw this and it just looked too good to pass up. So that's, uh, this is probably one of my most cherished cards. Nice. Right, awesome. How about you, Shaler? Well, my favorite character is R2-D2. Uh, he, uh, he was in the first release, he was actually one of the very first figures in the Six Inch Black series, and it was very hard to get, and, uh, very expensive. He'd be paying up to 120, uh, I think some of the highest prices at the time in the market, that took close to 200 for the uh, uh, R2. Everyone was real happy once they started re-releasing the R2 in this 40th wave, because a lot of people missed it. You know, if they're, op if they're uh, open collectors, they don't care what card it came on, they're just trying to get the R2. So uh, for the six inch black series, this is my favorite. There's a ton of details. He has a lot of accessories. Um, and then my crown of my collection <coughs> is actually from the three and three quarter inch line. Have you ever heard the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wild? Uh, it was a really rare uh, card to get, or figure to get on the three and three quarter and trying to find one that's in good condition is very hard. Uh, with all of these, they're out there. People are willing to sell them. There's a lot of uh, scalpers in the second market, uh, people who are trying to turn a buck on these. Um, I always try to avoid that and try to do a trade with someone if I get an extra exclusive at a con. Um, and I was able to make a deal with a, a collector um, and got it, and it was mint out of box. Uh, and it went, it came home and went immediately under glass, and it's been there ever since. <laughs> 